and he came to forgive our sins, and he came to buy us back for his father, and he came to break the power of sin and death and hell, and he came to do so many more things that we're not even aware of, but he also came, right? To live our life, to die our death, to be raised victorious from the grave, to ascend back to his father, to sit at the right hand of his father, the seat of power, mighty God, so that he might pour his spirit out on us so that we might live by his might, by his power. We've talked about this a lot, but I think we need to keep talking about it. That the life Jesus lived in the flesh in complete dependence on his Father, he now lives in us by his Holy Spirit. Which means the child, right, who is born to us, the son who is given, the one whom the government is upon his shoulders, the one whose name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, lives in us. Stop for a minute and tremble. He lives in us so that he can live through us. So this God who from the beginning of creation, who created human beings in his image to reflect his glory, to live in and from his presence, right? To be partners with him. 